and call a spade a spade. Oh, pregnant, and you can't get rid of this child because I had already had three abortions before. And the Lord had already dealt with me, and I was like, Lord, if you save me from this, I'm not going to ever do this again. Got pregnant, I was like, I can't go back over it, Lord. I don't want you to kill me. Uh, okay, yeah. I, here's you know, another but, thing um, I want to so highlight. So during her pregnancy, say her, say her last pregnancy, the third one, she said, Lord, if you save me from this, I'm never going to ever do it again. And what did she do? Go do it again. She prayed to God and said, if you get me through this, I'm never, ever, ever going to do it again. She go do it. I go on, we can all. Come on, man. You don't know better than that as a cool person. Come on, man. Y'all see why I said this lady is hiding behind religion? Because I know nobody is perfect. We all humans and nobody is not perfect. But how many times are you going to pray the same prayer for God to get you through it without dealing consequences for your action? If you arm somebody, you, you, you rob a bank and you get away with it and you say, you know, man, I really needed the money. I'm not going to do it again. Lord, don't let me get away with it because I'm not going to do it again. This is the first and the last time. And then you do it the second time and then you do it the third time and you do it the fourth time and you're saying the same prayer to God. And just because God forgive you, you expect society to not judge you. Big up yourself, Major Lisa Chantel is simple. After three abortions, she finds a bigger wood stick where she said she has to get it together. Can you imagine? After three abortions, that's when you're going to want to get it together. I'm, we're going to do this. Come, on, we Come on, man. You don't know better than that as a cool person. Come on, man. Big up yourself, Major Lisa. Thanks for supporting. I mean, we're just watching it and calling a spade a spade. Yeah, Charlie, she got pregnant by accident. She accidentally got pregnant because apparently her school didn't teach her that unprotected sex leads to pregnancy. And then let's give it to her oopsies one time, oopsies two time, oopsies three time, oopsies four time. This reminds me of the, the two other videos that we um, reviewed. Both of them said having unprotected sex with a bum a man who did not have a job, both of them having unprotected sex but didn't know that they were going to get pregnant, just didn't think that that would have been able to happen to them. Black women, are we not seeing the pattern? Big up yourself, Sheila. Thanks for being in here. Are we not seeing the pattern? Celine, big up yourself. Is this not a pattern that we need to start calling out? How are we going to be having unprotected sex and we're like, oh my gosh, didn't think this was going to happen to me. And this is why I call cap. And I, I mean, no disrespect to religious, to religion or, you know, overly religious people or anything like this. But when we hear stories like this, how can we not side eye religion? When she's going to say, oh, Lord, I know I can't get an abortion because I promised you that the last time I did it, this was going to be my last time. But you still participated in the action that going to cause you to have pregnant, give, get pregnant out of wedlock. You're still participating in the sin. And every time you get caught is when you want to pray for redemption. You want to pray for forgiveness, but you're still participating in the sin. It's like every Sunday you go to church and you get washed. You're the loudest up there on the altar. Every time they do altar call, you go up there. The loudest of ever. And as soon as you leave church, you don't even wait until Monday morning. But as soon as you leave from jumping up on the altar, that's when you're going to participate in the sin. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, until Sunday morning hit again, you're playing the gospel music. And you're going to ask God for forgiveness. Please, Lord, I'm not going to do that again. Now, hear me out. The relationship between her and her God is her business. We're reviewing the video and we're calling a spade a spade. You're going to beg for forgiveness. You're going to beg for compassion. You're going to beg for grace. But you're still going to participate in the same behavior. She got accidentally pregnant. Three times she begged God for grace and said, God, I'm not going to do this ever again. And she still participated in the behavior to go get pregnant again. Y'all, I'm going to drop the link in a minute. Let's just get through this.